So um, we're very excited this afternoon. This is the, really the core material here. Uh, Patrick Bucky and I have been working together for so many years. He's really been the genius originally with sacral cranial work, osteopathic, and then he extended the knowledge of the spine liquid pump harmonics to our biofeedback with brain waves now, and he outputs these uh, complex with the modulated harmonics from the equation now to this new plasma device, Plasma Fire, announcing today third option uh, and also programmable. Also, you can actually fire one particular chakra and feel it there and choose where you want to feel it. It's amazing. The stories here are incredible. So Patrick is a major resource. We've also evolved the Flame and Mind software to measure life force, to measure uh, resonance in architecture buildings, to measure sacred space. Uh, we have brain waves, heart rate variability, breath, sacral cranial, all measured in this amazing integrated biofeedback systems. And Patrick has become something of a genius programmer in iOS, Mac environment. Yes, after lots of struggle, it's powerful, super powerful. So what Patrick's done is amazing. Now, Patrick, we'd ask you to speak loud, please. Okay? Okay. Patrick okay. Bucky. Patrick Bucky. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you. <laughs> So good afternoon. Uh, so as Dan said, told us, to, told you, uh, I'm originally biologist, and then I have learned osteopathy. And my passion is really uh, sacrocranial wave and also em uh, emptiness of the brain ventricles, which are two main purpose used uh, in uh, osteopathy. In fact, there are two parts in the the thing that I'm working on. The, the first one uh, just done said that I'm developing a few apps. We tried through the app to understand what's happening inside our body. So uh, when I first met Dan, it was uh, in relationship with uh, art coherence. And so we start the collaboration together, working on apps which uh, can measure art coherence. That was uh, our first step. And then, uh, now we have also an app we can measure the, the brain wave and the way that you are meditating. This is one part. The other part, so this part is analyzing what's happening inside of you. The other part is try to interact with the body. So send some information to the body and hoping that the body will respond to this, uh, uh, this uh, wave we are sending. And this, this is what is done in Terrify. Uh, they are sending the famous Dan Cascade frequency to the, to the body, and the body will react to it. And so for many years now, I'm trying to use frequencies, music, to, inter to uh, go into interaction with the body. And I first start uh, a few years ago using single notes, like, well, there are a lot of people trying to send single frequencies, single notes to the body. And then I, I went one step forward and one step forward and one step forward, and I try to understand how th this wave, this external wave, can enter in resonance with the body. Because this is the main thing that we are trying to do, is all the frequency in your body, when, when your body is healthy, the amplitude of this wave are, are quite nice, but they can be completely flat at some part of the body. And so by using resonance, by uh, asking the body to enter in resonance with specific frequencies, we would like to increase this wave. The first thing which is very important is that the body works like an hologram. So there we can find the same thing, of the same, all the parts of the body everywhere in the body. I think it's well known that you, you can find uh, uh, different organs on your feet, you can find different organs on your ear, uh, eyes, on your ear, so the, the, the frequency you're listening uh, will react completely differently if uh, a part of your body is fixed or not. And the main proof uh, is that uh, when you make an audio vocal loop, so you take a mic, you put an, uh, an, 
a, sp a small speaker on your ears and between the mic and the speaker you put a filter and when you do this for example here you see that normally this is what you hear if you place a filter here about 50 hertz uh, uh, 500 hertz I'm sorry and then if you take the voice analysis which is quite filled with a lot of frequency you will see that the frequency of your voice will lose all the part which is not coming to your ear. So if you can't hear it, you can't speak it. Right. 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 This was discovered by a, a French uh, doctor which is called uh, Tomatis. Uh, he's make a lot, he made a lot of healing sessions with musical, musical therapy and uh, he, he, he cured Mar Maria Callas' voice. She has lost part of her voice and uh, you recover the voice of Maria Callas just by making um, a movement of uh, waves and music uh, in her ears. Tomatis is very famous and Patrick actually teaches and works in those schools. Amazing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So everybody knows that when you're stressed, you're, you're losing part of your voice. These are two voice analysis spectrum. The top one is an old and healthy person, which, and you see all the spectrum is filled. And the lower one is a young, 20, uh, 20 years old uh, boy, and he's passing uh, exam at school. And he's stressed. And he's very stressed. Look at the missing harmonics. There is a lot of missing harmonics. That tells you, harmonic inclusiveness lost. And of course, we can make a relationship also with uh, GDV, Kirlian pictures. And you see, this is an healthy person with a lot of, um, of the, the frequencies uh, of the body which are going out. And here, this is this person, you As see. Holes in the aura. The aura is a, a big part of the aura is missing. Biofield. So the, the no, this is the biofield, yes. Where you lose harmonics, you lose aura. Okay. And of course, we can use this uh, kind of device to measure if we have an interaction or not with uh, the body. And this is somebody which is quite healthy, but it is a little bit stressed. He's getting divorced and he doesn't know what will happen. And if I make... So the physical part is okay. But in the emotional part, there is something missing in the kidney and in the liver. And after just about 20 minutes of sending specific waves in, uh, using scalar waves, so a little plasma device. Which you we see, believe means longitudinal. Well, yeah. yes. yes, it should be. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you see, it's filled again. So it actually restored the order oh, sorry. the compressional yeah. longitudinal, if there's symmetry. Okay, and so we can ma make a comparison of, that, that's what I'm uh, often doing, comparison between the voice analysis, uh, uh, Kirlian pictures, and also hearing test. And ear in, in hearing test, there are, you see there are two lines. One line is in blue, which is the sound you're getting through your tympanum. And the red line is directly to your internal ears. So we are shock circuited the tympanum and we get two curves. And the blue curves coming through the tympanum will tell you how you interact with external. And the red curves will tell you how you interact with internal part of your body. Could you just mention the transducers, the, the measurement technique, briefly? Is yeah, but there are, it's, in fact, it's a, a small transducer you put on the bone because the, your internal ear is inside, it, it's inside the temporal bone. So you place directly, instead of using a normal headset, you, you, you put a, a vibrator just on the, the, temp, uh, the temporal bone. So it's like a parent says to the child, I'm just not getting through to you. We find out whether it got through. <laughs> and just rapidly here, what you see, well, what's in very important, normally, if you're perfectly healthy, not stressed, and blah, 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 okay, you should have beautiful curves, the same thing on the blue and the red one. 
but we will get a lot of information with the difference between these two curves. And 1000 Hertz here, you see there is a big gap on both here, uh, is related to, well, let's say the, the stomach, the, the, third, the third chakra. And we have the same thing here. You see a lot of missing frequencies here. And again, take a look here. Missing harmonics? Missing. So you, you, find, you find it everywhere. And what's it's really interesting also, this is uh, uh, after a three-week session of uh, tomatis therapy. The, the black line is the voice analysis before, and the red line is the voice an analysis after. And this is the comparison of the two curves. And you see they're, they're recovering a lot of, of frequencies just for a first, first session. This is one thing that I would mention which doesn't have a, a direct relation with uh, what I will explain, but I think it's very, very important. You, you all know that while getting old, you're losing frequencies, you're losing your audition. And so this is the curve that should, you should have, uh, well, let's say, when you're, when you're 20, 30, 50, 60, 80. And you see, well, this is part of the communication language. So about 70, you're normally entering in this part, so you're losing. It's, it's more dif much difficult to understand what uh, people are saying. And what is very important is that this curve has been done in 1980. And now, when I have patients coming to, to make a, a test at, uh, at my place, and when I measure them, look what, what, what we have. Instead of being like this, they are here. So they, they have the same audition as young people, but it's very disturbing for them because it's, it's some kind of irritation. They are hearing too much. So the, if you do this on your hand, it's okay. But if you do this all the time on your hand, it will burn. And when we touch it, you will, you will cry. And this is what's happening to this per person who are in burnout. There are too much electrosmog, too much information. And so they're always, always uh, receiving uh, information. And so they, they, instead of having a normal shape of audition, they have, they have a very high and also very flat. You see, because normally this is well done. The, the shape of the audition is, is well done because there is some kind of, uh, of movement in the curve to allow you to, to make the communication and not to be disturbed by the big truck passing uh, on the road and with uh, high frequency sound. So if you get stressed, then you're distressed, then you're yeah. distracted more by the... <laughs> yes, the, the, when this person, I ask her, uh, what do you feel when you pass through, uh, you pass along a, a school and the uh, little children are playing? And she said, ah, because it's uh, too, high, too high frequencies, too sensitive to high frequencies. Very much related to certain aspects of autism as well, over sensitive to, because of stress, there may be trauma. So, how can the body now I interact with external frequencies? Well, hearing sound, we all hear music in a normal way, we, the air is vibrating. You can also have bone sounds, which is uh, now more and more used, uh, even for uh, people who are making jogging, because Previously, they used a normal set, and then they didn't hear the car coming. And now they use a bone conduction headphone, and this bone conduction headphone allow you to also uh, catch the, the, the noise the in, in the environment. There are scalar wave, well, we will talk more about, and also many mechanical vib vibration. So 
your body is also sensitive to frequencies that you can uh, do. There are a lot of uh, devices. And we have done uh, one, I will show you uh, later. <laughs> 